If you love a little presto change then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. That's right, CB. Our next guests are special not just because they're a father and son team of magicians, but they're also fans of the show that visited ExploreTulsa.com and sent us an email asking if they could be on the show. And abracadabra, they appear like magic on the show. We've had magic around our home forever. I've got magic books that I've picked up. My dad done a little magic. My grandpa done a little magic. It was usually just coin out of a person's ear or something like that, but it was just real simple stuff. But uh, then my great-great-grandmother, she was more of a healer type a magician, and we also had a rainmaker in our family. And to this day, or the legend is that it needed to rain, pour water on his grave. It was aggravating growing up because uh, you grew up, you'd seen it all already. It was kind of weird because growing up, the first magician I'd ever seen was uh, David Copperfield on TV, and he done a he supposedly done a mentalism trick where you at home followed along, and it didn't work. And then the second magicians we'd seen was Penn and Teller. They were hilarious, but you couldn't, we couldn't imitate what they were doing because they used camera trickery. And so, but it, then uh, we'd go back home, and then there'd be him and my grandpa, and, or one of his his brothers, one of my uncles. They'd sit there and do something with, uh, like, make a wasp appear out of their fingertips, or they'd pick up dirt and turn it into a snake. And to somebody that had never seen it, it was something amazing. Then about five years ago, he suggested doing this professionally and trying it. Because we'd sit there and we'd get bored. If there was nothing on TV, he'd do a coin trick. and Well, then I'd pick up a coin and I'd imitate it and then do something different. And then he would come up with something different with it. And then pretty soon we were like, well, why don't we just try doing this for a living? And now we, I've got an eight-year-old niece. And it's kind of come around full circle. I'll come up with a new trick and perform for her. And she's like, oh, it was in your other hand. So it's just kind of, it kind of come back to me and hit me again that, oh, okay, yeah, and that, that's what he feels like whenever I told him that as a kid. And I'm, I've seen a lot of fathers and sons that can't work together at all because they just clash. And our personalities are so much alike that we spend a lot of time together. We spend hours and hours studying, practicing. And, uh, but before we done this, we got into magic. We were carpenters. We worked together there. Before that, we were buggy builders, horse-drawn vehicles. Him, his personality being like mine, we really achieved or tried to be the best at whatever we tried to do. And uh, it's just really worked well because it takes a lot of work and spending a lot of time together. You really get aggravated with each other at times, but uh, we still get along and still able to practice and get our tricks done and, and learn. It's like today, we'll probably spend all day today together and uh, you know, then tonight we'll go home and practice some more tricks. Sometimes we disagree and argue, but it's never really never been nothing more than that. It's just more of an argument between two people that have to work together than anything else. I'll go flipping through the deck and you just tell me. Stop. Go ahead and take that card. Let them see it. And was this the card that you had picked? Yeah. That wasn't it. You got a lighter on. And we'll just do a little magic and we'll make it the card you picked. Was that your card? It's been a fun deal though. We've had to, we've met people from all over. We've performed in Tennessee, Arkansas, Colorado, and uh, just met tons and tons of people. People that we, in no way would we have ever been able to get to meet. Uh, Magic has, you know, provided that for us. And it's just been a really good experience for us. <laughs>